these things, it gets cut off. I know. Uh, okay, you know, that, I go back, okay, this is all okay. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be talking about... The, the total and absolute hatred most mainstream companies and, and organizations have towards the internet. But they're all trying to get into social media. You know, I think a lot of it is is that they know it's kind of like, okay, it's kind of like TV sets in HD. It's like they know they need to be involved in social media, and it's causing them a lot of headaches because it is a whole new arena for them. Because they also, it's like they're not certain about the internet either. It's like they knew they needed to be there, they knew they needed a presence, and they knew that what they had relied on in the past was not going to be there as as it has been. The whole problem is they're trying to kill the same beast that they're trying to get hooked up with. Yeah, that part never made sense to me. And it's, it's the thing, I mean, I can okay, the, um, for instance, we're going to try the Consumer Electronics Association as an example. The Consumer Electronics Association is pushing connected everything, mm -hmm. connected to the internet. All they're pushing, all these things are connected. And at the same time, they poke the people that, uh, you know, on the internet go to hell. You know, we don't want these, we don't want the bloggers anymore, we don't want you people, we're, we've got stringent regulations now. Well, the problem is, is they don't understand the internet. A person could have one, one viewer a day, one, mm -hmm. and that one viewer simply takes everything and moves it. That's true. And then what happens is that one viewer ends up into a million different links. Mm -hmm. What they're doing is they're counting, well, how many unique visitors are coming? Well, you can't count how many unique visitors come to your website because it's irrelevant. Mm -hmm. it, okay, I can guarantee you, we didn't put ourselves up in 58 different languages. I, That's for certain. Okay, <laughs> that would take a lot okay, of work. Okay, they'll say like on, on my side, which is the heavy news side, which is where this is being done now, we are only getting like five or six views at a time. Well, how the hell can you have 108 million likes because they take the material and they move it. Mm -hmm. They just simply and then go take. Yeah, but how do you how do you not you know if it comes down how do they keep it going because they're they're copying the bloody thing, mm -hmm. and then they copy it. Sometimes they take the head and the tail off of it and put their own names on it, but it's mm -hmm. our stuff. But they can't count. This is why advertisers totally hate the internet. Is because the um, advertisers know what's going on. But they don't seem to tell the companies they're working for what's going on. If they did, maybe they would get more business. They said, you mean that uh, if we, if, you know, that one view could end up 100,000 views? Yeah. It isn't how many, it, it's not the unique visitors on your site that counts. It's how many links to that video across the internet that counts. Mm -hmm. The more links, it means the more people that view it. But it's, um, but, you know, they know. <laughs> you know, so I can ask it right. You know. But when she'll tell you, I mean, we've got awful, do not look like we have a lot of it. We, we don't qualify under almost any standards for anybody's rules for trade shows, do we? Well, you know, because they change all the time. One of the largest challenges we have is we are all over the place. Yeah. Okay, so we do not specifically only focus on, for example, music. Or only fo focus on automotive racing. No, we are we're general. A, we're we're, we're a newspaper the on the internet. Mm -hmm. Folks, you ever, uh, okay, I know for the people that are running these things, you're the most incompetent a-holes in the history of the universe. You know what a newspaper is? News. News and is how is it one form of news? No. No, they have they have sports and they have automotive and they have motion pictures. They have all of this. We just do it in a different form. Mm -hmm. You know, most of it is we do it through videos. Mm -hmm. Where we it, it, it's, we're going to try to explain this. www.montybubbles.net, Mother Monty Bubbles Network. Network as in a television news type operation, folks. We just use the, we're putting the videos out there. If you plug in how many different types of videos, we do every type, we cover every deal. We got got awful amount of people that, we, you know, I don't know what we're supplying. We've got um, like a little 11 different channels. We've got another channel we're supplying mm -hmm. to. So, but it, they don't, they don't understand. And this is a trick is, they didn't understand, okay, as you go down the line, 
if you don't understand something, you kill it. Mm -hmm. The um, they they didn't understand high def versus uh, Sony versus Blu-ray. So high def DVDs. Okay. They knew well. Sony is a bigger name, so I think we should go with the Sony product because more people would buy Sony than they would do the the. Uh, Toshiba and the other things. Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. It didn't work out that way because Blu-ray, Blu-ray was like four or five times more expensive. So they ditched the, what they didn't. Under, they thought, well, everybody understands Sony is this. They're all going to go to Sony. Well, they didn't. Mm -hmm. Everybody didn't understand. Okay, you didn't understand the ether. Well, everybody understands the cloud. Mm -hmm. People don't understand. Uh, servers. Well, everybody understands the cloud. <laughs> yeah, right. People, they, they don't, still don't know. They don't, uh, <laughs> they don't understand uh, download sites on the internet, but they understand ultraviolet. No, I think they're just starting to hear about ultraviolet. Well, no, ultraviolet's already dead. They're now available on oh, ultraviolet. It's not, uh, okay, um, there, there's lots of ultraviolet places out there. The only problem is, is that you know you can only get ultraviolet from the same places that they weren't downloading things from before. So if they, they, they said... It's a download, available yeah, for download. It's, it's not, it, okay, ultraviolet is nothing more than the system they had in place, which was the digital download, which isn't working because... As as I, as as I pointed out before, there's only a, there's not an X amount of devices that can handle the download from the ultraviolet system. That's true. So they said that people they said Warner Brothers came out with this grand campaign for ultraviolet, and then nobody could download any. You mean it doesn't download on iPhones and iPads? Well, no, because they don't have flash. Mm -hmm. You mean it's flash? And he said, well, it didn't. And then so you know you, you could say somebody in the background, you know, some little guy raising his hand. Uh, didn't anybody tell you people that iPhones and and uh, iPads don't use Flash? No, didn't tell them. Ah. So now they're having to develop the system. So they they whacked out like fifty percent of their audience, just like that before they even started. I know. And then the people discovered. Um, I'm supposed to be able to move it from device to device, but you basically won't do it from device to device without paying a fee. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean you have to pay a fee to use ultraviolet? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be included with the cost of the DVD. Mm -hmm. uh, but as we've been finding out, all these free things aren't free. You've got to pay for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were, we were, we were, yeah. We've been working the last two days. Actually, this is day three of going through... The fact that everything we're, you know, we got lots of plugins for our website, <coughs> and they're supposed to be free now. I kind of, you know, like, well, you only got to pay fifteen hundred, fifteen thousand dollars a month mm -hmm. for a free plugin. Yeah, uh, it's not free. It's not free. There's a difference between the word free, but you know, but, um, but yeah, <laughs> one has a dollar attached to it. You no, know, like we're at the moment. She's running into the problem about the fact that they don't understand the internet because, I mean. Um, Okay, put it this way. Of the two of us, who writes more? You do. N no. Who, write, who has more written material on the internet? You do. No. Oh. <laughs> I do? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I only write when I feel <laughs> like it. I, but the trick is I can, write like three, I can write three things in a day if I feel like it. But no. Uh, under her name, she's got stuff that dates back like seven years. I write editorials. I used to write nothing but editorials. Now I'm writing other stuff, short stories and things. But... Here's the challenge is sometimes you have stories printed and posted and you don't take a copy of the page and then what happens is they're no longer there. Yeah. And they just, but the links are still there, folks. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I think that you, uh, I think that, um, your links are, no, are now totally gone to all that one set of content. They did remove them all. Oh, now they removed them? Yeah, that's why I removed all the links from the Facebook mm -hmm. page. So. Ah. You know, from Money Bubble, because it just takes you now, it takes you to voices, and no longer, they removed everything that basically had voices on it, and went to anything that had the old name. Shape, the old name, they, they put it over to the other ones now, so that was the whole process, because they were too lock heavy on one side, so that's why they changed the rules. But, um, she basically, you can basically link to far more written material on her side than mine, but... 
she she does you know, mostly entertainment writing and things like that, or you know what's a smartphone or something like mm -hmm. this. She does things like that, which is entertainment related. Our digital Hollywood, which is you know having to do with all the little tinker toys, but um, but we have a problem. See what uh, they also the people. The people that are running trade shows and are trying to hook on and, try and can't understand the internet doesn't understand. You mean you wouldn't put your actual name up on the internet? You use a you use a pen oh, name. Oh, he's pen name. Mark yeah. Twain would have had a hell of a problem because he was Samuel Clemens, mm -hmm. and uh, most writers would have never been able. You just sat there. Well, heck, I you know you. You know you're not Alexander Dumont. Boy, don't all actors use their real names? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, uh, you know uh, Charles Bronsky, or Carlton Spangler, or you know, or um, you know, J Jimmy Stewart, or Stuart Granger, or um, uh, you know, I always love um, you know, uh, uh, Bernie Kowalski. Mm -hmm. That was a good one, Bernie Kowalski, Jack Benny. So but, well, a lot of people don't use their real names, like Rock Hudson, Dash. You know, Tab. You know, those are all names they gave them. Um, but, um, but, but this isn't even my name. They changed my family's name when we came uh, on one of the trips over to Ellis Island, which my my family basically, when they were in their more broke stage, came over one come through Ellis Island instead of the other way. That's where you come to the United States back in the olden days, and you didn't have any money, you had to go through Ellis Island. If you came over on a, on a steamship in a cabin, you, you know, in a bigger cabin, you basically bypassed Ellis Island. So the guy gave my family, he said, you don't, you know, that day was too long. We're going to do, we're going to go from this, we're going to do that. But it, it, it's just, if they were in charge, anybody that had a pen name would be gone. Totally. I mean, well, we you, we don't we have to have verifiable evidence that that's actually you. Well, my picture is there. Well, how do we know that's your picture? Because it's what I look like. You know, you can go to the website and see my picture there. Well, you might have used somebody else's picture. <laughs> yeah. And you had to send your driver's license. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> okay. Only the internet has to provide a business license and a list of how many people, uh, 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 a demographic thing that shows you what you you know, who's coming to your site. Well, I hate to tell the people that are doing this stuff. The organization that they request to be used is known as a filtering company. It's, this is the biggest malware company it's on the internet. Big spam company. Big spam you. They use the information to spam everybody. Mm -hmm. So, but, um, but that's reliable though because it's owned, by, it's owned by one of them, you know, and, and, and people that understand they use the internet, they basically are very honest or they're very crooked because you know what you can do by when we work with the internet. I mean, we, we try to be honest, but I mean, like, we're not grumpy mood at the moment because, you know, we're having a problem getting into a trade show where I got into for the first time ever with no problem. I know. I, I, I generally, it's Part always... Part of it is we focused on... Because I do new, I do cover that arena all the time. Yeah. Right. And so this year, because of how the requirements were, we decided to do writing. Yeah. And then my links disappeared. Yeah, which I didn't do a battle over money and stuff. So. And then yours are still there. Mine are all still there for the moment, but they won't be. So that's they, well, they were there to get me through the door. Actually, her links are getting back on because come to www.monty. M E N news video, video web, web on the net, um, and you'll find uh, our new stuff with everything that she had removed, which actually makes it more we can do better because I actually can plug her own advertisements into the pages now, which she couldn't do before. We were getting like two cents a day. <laughs> I mean, you know, and uh, you know, the big thing was like, for instance, I was supposed to get upfront money for. Well, I, I'm writing stories. I'm supposed to get paid for everything I do. I didn't. I know. So mine, mine is not going to be there a whole lot longer either, folks. You know, it's just a means to an end. But um, means to an end. Find another outlet. I know. But we uh, have we have ours, but, but we're diversifying. Yeah, we're diversifying. But um, the, um, the, it, it, I just don't understand. You know that that you know we, we haven't been divesting. It's all about the same topics. That the people that are doing all this don't under the people that are running the internet don't understand the internet. Because they're all advertising companies. Okay, what is Google basically? 
Advertising. What is your oh, software? Get, get, get advertising software, but they sell advertising software. They also do analytics. Mm -hmm. uh, and the analytics are basically useless because it only shows the people that come to the site are basically legally take the video mm -hmm. off of it. But, but you do not have to, you only have to take the video once and then you can undo their YouTube system because you put a, you basically put it inside. Um, a thing, and they can. They, uh, they only. I think the YouTube is at the beginning. Mm -hmm. They trim off the beginning, and then, you know, add their own tag to it, and you basically defeated the purpose because you cannot tell where that video is on the internet after if they change the name on it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, I mean, I, for instance, we we had an army of our videos. I mean, we lost all of MSN soapbox. All the videos went. I found all the bloody things. Somebody copied them all. Oh, they did. Oh yeah, I got the. I've got links to like fourteen hundred of those videos now, <laughs> which is amazing. I did find them all. That's how it works. And um, so, okay, it's just like say, this is a video on YouTube. This is a video that has been taken off of YouTube, been rearranged, and then we have, and then it, this video is now all over the internet. YouTube has one spot. This is just because it's free to grab. It's taken off of everybody's, um, mm -hmm. you know. So this thing has went from this to a thousand, mm -hmm. from this to ten thousand, from the ten thousand to a hundred thousand. That's how. That's how the hell we get two hundred and uh, two hundred fifty million links because they do that. The internet, the, the people that are doing the advertising, you don't care about the people. You know, you, 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 analytics must change, and they're refusing to change it. You know, that's well, the funny part. She's a business person, I'm not. I know. He's a technical person. I, I well, because what the challenge is, is because...